Hi everyone, Danny here from the new studio. More and more brands are introducing now their 2020 bikes. And so today, Giant Content. Because why not? Giant Content uh, has been the bike I've been recommending to my viewers for years already. What Giant Content is and three things you should know about it, that's on this very, very short episode. So first thing, what is Giant Content? It's a very good all-rounder, we can say road bike uh, built around the aluminum frame so it can be fast but it can also uh, go much towards the even gravel grinding and it will have full carbon fork and aluminum frame that's uh, first thing i wanted to tell you then a weird thing about the for example us side for the for the giant they tell us about their content sl disc sl and the new ar and the content non-SL, and then you cannot find the content SL from on, on the range, uh, which is weird. Same on the German side, you can only see content and content AR. So if you want to see all bikes, all content bikes, go for the UK uh, website. So you need to click here and choose the United Kingdom because there are displaying all the bikes. So this is important and I'm gonna be uh, talking about the bikes from this website, the British version. Are you ready? Uh, I, I'm loving this because these bike uh, bikes are not very expensive and they give you a lot, a lot of fun on the road and um, good quality of the frames um, that brand, giant, giant brand, make me do those episodes for you. First thing you should know, there is a new model of giant content and it's called Content AR. Uh, which is um, very interesting. Some brands do road bikes, which are very capable on the gravels. Some uh, brands will do, let's say, cyclocross bikes, will be very, which will be very capable on the road, like Mission Road, Merida Mission Road for 2020, that's interesting. So uh, more about Content AR in the second. Uh, second thing you want to know is what frame do you really get on these bikes and third what tires you can put on these because these are the things Giant has been focusing a lot. Uh, so content that's number one for 2020 the cheapest one the most budget and really nice uh, bike this is it. We've got two models uh, on the uh, UK, si UK side and so What's the frame? The frame is made from the lowest grade of aluminum, Alu XX. They have Alu XX, Alu XX SL and then SLR. So this is the, the heaviest, the cheapest and still very good quality. The bikes will still ride really nicely and I can really recommend you uh, these bikes like 750 uh, British pounds or 625 uh, on Clarice. Uh, 750 on Sora, that's cool. You've got the compact cranksets, really, really nice. And you've got the full composite uh, overdrive steer, which means that the whole fork is made out of carbon, carbon which is very good for uh, damping the vibration. These are the bikes I highly recommend you guys as the first uh, road bike. You can even go for some crits, some uh, Grand Fondos, it's just okay. The tire you can put on these are up to 28C. Example, uh, we've been riding, we had been riding 23C on the road bikes. Now most of the riders use 25, but on the bad roads, 28C would be really sweet. 25 is good, but 28C would be really sweet. You can put 28C tires on this bike. It's got the clearance. All the bikes will also have the tubeless system, which is great. I assume that when you buy the bike, it is with the inner tube, but you can put the uh, tubeless tire on the rims that the bikes uh, come with. So this is the giant content, really good bike. Then the second type of uh, giant content is the Content SL, uh, which is not only about just the, the aluminum grade, but let's start with this one. Alloy XXSL grade. That means a different type of alloy used for this frame, uh, and also uh, thinner walls. So really light bike, 
and still not very expensive, a thousand pounds on Shimano 105 full carbon fork is really good price. Uh, another difference here is also the uh, oh no, sorry, the tire clearance is same as the uh, as on the content non SL, and that's it. And then SL disc and AR will have even more, but that's in the second. Uh, both bikes. Uh, have the diffuse seat post which flexes nicely uh, this is the alloy one uh, this one will have I think this one is mm, no this is already the carbon one so the the uh, content SL will have will come with the carbon diffuse seat post which flexes even more so when to go for the SL just if you have a higher budget you want to have 11 speed uh, drivetrain, uh, so 1000 British pounds or 1300 dollars or so isn't uh, too much for you. It's a cool bike, but still the content on the Sora or Clarice will be just, just fine. Uh, so this is the SL, different frame, uh, also diffuse uh, seat post, also full carbon fork and also to up to 28 millimeters tire. Uh, tires clearance. I think the bikes come with 25 millimeters tires. Let's just check this one out. Um, when we go for the specs, the tires are no, it comes with 28. It's cool. What about this one? Let's just compare it since we are already here. Uh, 28. So it it already comes with the um, largest tire or widest tire possible for this bike. Cool, I'm super happy about this. It also looks very, very nice. So this is the content, content SL and, uh, and then content SL disc. Disc is, is an addition uh, feature, additional feature on the content SL disc bike, but it's not the only one because also we're gonna have up to 32 millimeters tires. So. Disc version, for, for, for someone who maybe weighs more or for someone who's riding really aggressively and also wants to go maybe for some nice gravel. This is not a gravel bike, but 30C tires, I've got 30C tires on my cyclocross bikes and I do use it on the cyclocross races in the mud and also in the forest. So 32C could be as well a, a gravel bike. Same um, grade, uh, Alu XX SL grade as on the Content SL, thus the name Content SL. Uh, also, tubeless system, diffuse uh, seat post, the composite one, really, really cool bike. So this one, the disc version, is not only with better brakes, but also this one was, will be much more versatile than the SL. If you're rather looking for the lightest uh, bike possible for 1000 uh, pounds from Giant, buy Content. If you want a more versatility, buy Giant Content uh, SL Disc. Or SL, I mean Content SL if you want to have the lightest one, right? And then the Content AR, uh, this is the newest model in this range. Content AR is made, as you can see, this is kind of a gravel rock. This is made for uh, for having some some adventures uh, on on the bike, uh, all AR bike come with the disc brake, so there is no non disc brake version. And here the clearance, my friends, is up to 38 C. So this bike can actually do well as a gravel bike, but this is not a gravel bike. This is the all rounder all rounder road bike. This is how they call it. Uh, and they do have a gravel bike model as well. So this is it. Uh, let's just sum up uh, one more thing. The geometry. Uh, I was uh, comparing the stack and reach and also the fork, um, the, the head tube angle. And it's exactly the same for all the content bikes. So content, content SL, content SL disc, content AR will have the same geometry and it's not too upright, uh, it, it's just right for pretty much everything. Remember that if you're on the road and you want to get aero, you've got the, the uh, road bike uh, bars, so you will be aero. Which one would I buy? 
Um, I personally, looking for a road bike, would go for the Content SL disc, uh, or maybe even Content SL. But disc brakes are are kind of cool. I do I do like the disc brakes, especially if you want to have carbon uh, rims on the on the wheels. The, the disc brakes are great. So I would probably go for the uh, SL2 disc, which uh, is 1100 British pounds on the Tiagra. Sweet bike, really sweet bike. Uh, if you're looking for the adventure, Content AR. If you're looking for your first road bike, that's giant Content. Uh, and here was it uh, one model or two? I think two models. Yeah, I would even go for the two on the, the model two on the Shimano Claris because the frame set will be exactly the same. That's it for this episode. Let me know what bikes would you like to see for 2020 in the next one. See ya.